I put these three out. I'm not sure what I'm going to title this video. I was thinking two cows and an elephant. <laughs> it's kind of funny, right? These girls are, uh, yeah, it's just been a couple minutes, but they've been pretty good. Little chitty chat here and there. But I'm very curious to see how this goes. And I'm thinking maybe you guys would be too. So. It's roly-poly time. Shake, shake. But I'm super curious to see how this goes. Lena wasn't too keen on coming in, admittedly. <laughs> I think she's lowest on the uh, on the totem pole here. Hi, Lena. I don't didn't think you liked me because I just finished having to trim her feet for the last oh I'd say almost an hour. Look at those things though. Bam. Looking sharp. So she was a lot though. She was a lot to trim. Oop. I'm gonna back off, let these two have a chitty chat. Just a little. Uh, Lena's feet grow very quickly and if I'm even a week off it's uh, pretty noticeable and uh, the last time I guess I probably had left some harder stuff in there because sometimes when it's really dry and you go to trim <clears throat> there's stuff in there that just it's just like rock so with a little bit of wet weather it's allowed it to um, uh, soften a bit, which <laughs> allowed me to uh, clean them up, but it took a long time. I'm going to curl around these two and it might send them a little more forward. Two of our biggest horses. And Tana seems to be just fine tooling around on her own. Should put a boy in here, right? Like that guy. Trimmed Luke as well. <sighs> Trimmed macaroni yesterday, and Gracie and Piggy were done the other day. Springer was done the other day. Tanner was done the other day. This thing was done about a week ago. Lena's today. Really was a a week ago, I think. Oh, is she coming to me or? Oh, no, not me. Not me. See, the girls are much quieter. You put, uh, you know, these, this, this girls' footage near the boys' footage. And, man, this stuff is subtle, quiet stuff usually. Tam is coming up behind me. Whoa, you're looking good. I like your uh, sandy sandiness going on. She's finally decided to step up the game a little here. I expect that Tana's number one. I'm going to back up a little, get out of the zone. Tana's number one. Lena's number three, which is why she probably didn't want to be out here. She's tracking fantastic. Her back feet are landing exactly where her front feet are leaving. Oh, Tana's rolling again. Well, Hannah says, yeah, no problem. And then we go uh, hang out with brown and white cow. Push her around a bit. Oh, holy smokes. She's got something to say. She's come to say it. These two talk to each other a lot, but because they're right next to each other. But this is the first time meeting. See, now if Lena was really uh, not so keen to hang around, she could leave. It's a big arena. There's a lot of space. There's no other horse here, right? 
She doesn't. She goes just far enough. Why is that? I want to know. She's looking to turn left. So, am I? I'm in the way. See, I'm in the way. It doesn't matter that I'm here. I'm going to back up. <laughs> she just can't get enough of this sand. She says, oh man, does it ever feel good. Oh, she's up. That was quick. Oh, she's moving. She's moving, everybody. Let's go. I'm going to back up. Tam is gone. She says, where's Luke? Where's my Lukey Luke? Nina's getting exercise. I'm still backing. Coming around. They both stop for a sniff at the pile. And move on. So, uh, this is free lunging. Bohanna's a level 2 certified horse trainer. She's catching up to Luke, who's level 5. Lena, are you getting some exercise, you tubby tub? You could use some, it's good for you. What is it? Scratches? She says, right there. So, what if I stand on her hind quarter here? Or I come around Lena. Lena's behind me, behind my back. See, this is pretty forward. I waved my hand, so she stopped. See, she'll back up. Back up. Back up. Oh, good girl. See? See that? I can't see her feet. Back up. That's pretty good. That's really nice. I'll pet her for that, actually, if I can. See how soft she is? And I'll get out of her way. See what happens. Bye, Lena. Sorry. You're here for entertainment purposes. Did you know that? <laughs> what? What does that even mean? Well, for scientific purposes. Which to me is entertainment. Quiet, quiet, quiet horses. It's a beautiful day. The sun has arrived on the scene with some blue skies and a little bit of cloud. It's supposed to be pretty warm over the next little bit. It's a little muggy, not a lot, a little. Here comes Lena. Here she comes, here she comes. Right, oh, she went right by. There goes the big girl. She's going, going, pushing, pushing, pushing. They both have their head down, pushing peanuts, as they say. Sniffing the ground, checking it out, wondering what's happening, what has happened. Hmm. What's Tana doing? Scavenging. He says, I can smell some weeds over here. Smells good. Smells good. Smells like weeds. I like weeds. Nina needs a bath. So, let's see if I can instigate a little action by coming around. I can, so that's interesting. I'm going to come around behind this girl, like this. She won't like it, because she's not used to it. Ooh, that's a big butt. The size of that thing. I'll come around behind her again. She's not going to be overly comfortable with that. She'll look to square up. There we go. I'm actually walking backwards to draw her. Now I'll ask her to stop. And reach. Okay, I'm gonna come around again. A little psychological stuff with horses. She says, I'm not sure about you being back there. 
We'll stay here. See how she's bending to look? She won't want to stay like that. Nina's on the move. Would you leave her alone so she'll leave me alone? No. It's fun and interesting. If Lena picks up that tarp and beats it up, she's in big trouble. Lena, don't make me get the... Uh... Cylindrical. High quality foam horse training thing. If they watch the live stream of me training Luke to understand that joke. We're both checking out the tarp. As long as we don't have anybody picking it up and tearing it apart. I don't care if they sniff it and check it out. Hmm. Tana's on her way up a little bit. She's really exploring quite a bit right now. She doesn't, she doesn't seem to have a great interest in being pushing anybody around or doing anything. Even though I'm sure she's the you know, lead horse in, in this particular situation. she comes. Nope, she stopped. Hmm. Oh, get moving, Lena. I have a barrier in between us, so she can't just come straight to me. Well, Hannah says, I found a weed. Let's eat it. She moves Lena off a little. And off they go in slow motion, it feels like. Oh, see Tana's on her way over a little bit. Oh, Hannah says, Lena's mine. She's my friend. How do they talk to each other? Does anybody take the high ground? Does it matter? Sniff, 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 sniff. She goes by, so obviously the lead horse. She goes where she wants to. Flicks her tail a little, says, stop there. Now they're a herd again. Two cows and an elephant. <laughs> oh, Hannah's so big, she's lovely. Hmm. She hates tarps, so she'll probably want to avoid that. This tail swishes mean something. A little bit of flies too, but they mean something anyways. Oh. She missed. Sure was kind of accurate, but all horses are very, very good at figuring out how far away a kick is and uh, avoid it appropriately and down again for some roly-poly <laughs> she says this is the best that is a sandy horse So anyways, I think uh, we've kind of watched the dynamics of them. That's been interesting. I think I should probably get on with my day. This is, you know, it's interesting. Ha! 
tail to the face. Poof. Poof. Le Lena, trying to observe a little here. What's happening? Lana's well, really reaching. Whoop. Who won? Uh oh. I think Tana's gone down. She's the lowest. Oh. Wow. She's not going down without a fight, I'll tell you that. I'm just kidding. She does need to show a little bit of um, energy for this activity. It's all part of the survival, but you know, they stay away from each other for the most part. Seems like Ohana's a little wiser than her age. What, another roll? Man, that is a roly-poly horse. She's free to do it. Ohana doesn't come in and say, hey, stop rolling. She checks her out. Says, you don't have any more trouble with me? I don't have any more trouble with you. Other side. Get that itch figured out one more time. Lena's just quiet and compliant. There's no argument there. Interesting stuff. I guess she just can't reach the spot she's looking to reach. She keeps trying. Johanna's moving in. She says, hey, you're doing a lot of rolling in there. Oh. It's digging time. That's great. Let's spread the sand around a little more. It's a story a while back that somebody could pretend that their horse could count. Tap their foot, depending on how many. Lena, don't chew on that. Okay, we gotta send her off. Go. Thank you. No chewing on the stairs. Lena's gotta check out the roly poly spot. Says, oh, that's what it smells like. Okay. Important business to figure out. I think that based on a horse's smell or what horses smell of a horse, you could tell if they're healthy or strong or, you know, what do you want? <sighs> See, ones are butt scratched, but I'm not into doing that at the moment. I'm into actually stopping the camera and getting on with my day. What happens here? She, she now owns the pile. And the town is on her way back up. Well, that's the girls. I'm going to leave it at that. So yeah, hopefully it's been interesting. A little horsey behavior. I shall see you guys again tomorrow.